Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I have the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra right here, which is going to launch with a brand new feature from Google. Yes, Google launched this feature at Samsung's Unpacked event this week. The Galaxy S24 series is up for pre-order now, so I will link to all the best pre-order deals in the description, including the best trade-in deals and even some bonuses and storage and some extras as well. But in this video, I wanna focus on that circle to search because it's not just coming to the Galaxy S24 lineup, it's also coming to the Pixel 8 lineup as well on January 31st. Now I've been making tech YouTube videos for over 13 years now. And after I saw this circle the search, I was like, wait a minute, I have seen this before. I've done a video on this feature before. So where exactly did Google steal this idea from? Now circle the search, if you don't know, is where you can press and hold your home button and you can contextually search whatever's on your screen. You can circle it, you can scribble over it, whether it's text, whether it's an image, whether it's a landscape, a building, and it will go ahead and do a Google search, but the key is it's not going to leave the specific app that you're on. So you swipe up and you get all these search results and then you can just swipe back down and go back to the app that you were already in. So you might be saying, no way, Google didn't take this feature. And no, they didn't really steal it because Google actually had an extremely similar feature about eight years ago called Now on Tap. Some of you may remember it. So I'm going to embarrass myself a little bit. Here's me introducing Google's Now on Tap from about eight years ago. And I'm gonna talk in this video how some of these features are really similar and really show off how Now on Tap or Circle the Search is Now on Tap in just a somewhat new form and more updated and you know better contextual results, et cetera. So taking a quick look at Google's Now on Tap from a while ago, you press and held the home button, very similar. And what it did was essentially searched everything on your screen. So it would give you search results based on everything, whether there was a shoe, a logo, text, it would literally find everything on your screen and search it and show you results down below. You could even highlight text if you were looking to search something very specific or find maybe weather for a certain location. Now fast forward about eight years, we have circle to search. So again, once you press and hold that home button, you can use it with the nav bar or the home buttons. It will sort of take a screenshot of whatever's on the screen. You can zoom in and out. So if you zoom in and you wanna get something very precise, that can be done. And I'm not even joking, over the past couple days, I have used Circle to Search multiple times. I love this feature. It's extremely useful and really streamlines my phone use. So let's dive into a few ways you can use Circle to Search and get the most out of this new feature. Of course, you have the standard circling images and getting what they are, maybe certain types of plants, certain types of animals. Even if you're using the camera app to take pictures when you're out and about, you can circle whatever's in your viewfinder to just do a quick Google search of whatever that specific specific thing you're taking a picture of is. Something I didn't really think of at first, but when you have incoming messages from friends, specifically a Snapchat or an Instagram image, you can do a circle to search on those images, whether you wanna see what they're wearing or where they are. Maybe there's a landmark in the background, you wanna circle it, so then you'll know right away where they are, or even just take text out of a Snapchat or an Instagram if they are looking for a specific restaurant or you're trying to see where they're vacationing right now. And again, not just images, you can also use text. So if someone's texting you about finding specific restaurants or specific locations or even vacation ideas, you can sort of highlight those places or restaurants and find out more about them, shows you where they are on maps. It just comes up with a lot of great contextual results. And again, you don't have to leave that messaging app. Just swipe on down and you can reply right away. A great one that I found while listening to music. So I'm on Spotify listening to music and I always like to listen on shuffle try and find new artists. And a really fun one is when a new artist shows up, maybe they're featured on a specific song, you can highlight their name and what it's going to do is pop up search results very quickly on who they are and even give you specific links to maybe their Instagram or YouTube page so you can find more about them. It's, it's just crazy. And again, you're not leaving the Spotify app to do this. Say you're watching a YouTube video of your favorite creator, you can circle whatever they're wearing at the time and get results if you're looking to buy the specific shirt, the shoes they have, have on, or maybe there's an Instagram post and they're with someone that wasn't tagged. You can circle the face and who knows, maybe they have enough search results on Google to tell you who that person is. 
Now there's also a multi-search feature. So if you circle something and you want more contextual results, you can add another search to that specific image of whatever you circled. Super useful. And I haven't tried this one yet, but what I'm going to do is maybe say I'm watching someone review a food item or I see something on the food network that I really want to try or cook. So if I get an image of a piece of food, I can add recipes for that specific item. So not only is it going to identify whatever it is I've circled, it's also going to, you know, search up some recipes so I can make it at home. So like I said, Google's now on tap feature from eight years ago got me really excited. So now I'm equally, if not more excited that they're bringing it back in a different form, a more advanced form with Circle to Search. So again, Circle to Search is launching on January 31st on the Galaxy S24 series and the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. So again, if you pre-order one of these devices, be sure to check out Circle to Search, or if you have a Pixel 8, Pixel 8 Pro, definitely test it out and make sure to really give it a chance and sort of remember to use it. That's the key is kind of integrating it into your phone usage because I use it all the time. And I know you're gonna ask, will this come to other Android devices? And I reached out to Google and asked that exact same question and they responded with, they have no more information about any future releases just yet. So kind of stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys updated, of course, on social media. I will link to everything down in the description of the video below. But anyways, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment. Let me know how you're gonna use Circle to Search, what you think of it. Be sure to subscribe as well. A lot more content coming soon. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.